Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Remnant. We are venturing out into the world for the first time today in search of the founder of Ward 13, and well, I guess his notes as a clue for where our character can proceed. Uh, I think I had my air conditioning on in the last video, so sorry if that was a little bit too loud. I just started to record this one <laughs> and realized Wait, there's a ton of background noise, so I apologize for that. If it was an issue, I hope it was not. I think this is where the founder was at. Pa! I'm dying. It, uh, I'm dying. No two ways about it. Always thought the root would get me or I'd live forever like you. But we can't all be heroes. You're the only person in the world who thinks he can stop the root. You know that? The rest of us are just trying to live our lives best we can. Me and Ellen have had to do it without you. I ain't gonna tell you to stop. Not again. Just don't think you are sacrificing for us. We've sacrificed enough. Always your daughter, Nadine. We have an oil skin tonic and a Ward 13 key card on the table. Well, that's disturbing. What is the labyrinth? Looks like he has some maps laid out here and some images on it. Not too sure what any of it means. The old church, the labyrinth is a massive tower, appears at certain locations. Is it an entrance to another dimension? Huh. So clearly he's been to it because he's drawing maps of the labyrinth as well. Well. I guess we'll just start looking around from here. Oh, there was a note on the wall. Ellen, I want you to know that I love you and that I'm sorry. Sorry for so many things. Words won't fix this. I know that. It's time for me to go. Uh, took me... Uh, I can't recursive for shit. A while from saying to doing, but here I am. I'm leaving to speak with the root mother and the old church past the subway tunnels. She'll know, she'll show me the, pa the, the path away from this world and then I'll be gone. Are there subtitles for, motherfucker? <laughs> All right. So we're looking for the root mother. We have our trusty hunting rifle equipped, this time with a mod. And we have a pistol. That's not too bad either. Now this layout potentially could be unique to my game and my game alone. I suppose we'll see. I definitely heard something squirming around in this build. Here we go. Anyone else? You do get bonus damage for headshots, which I appreciate. Hey, don't antagonize them. We can look around these buildings to try to find some extra loot. I'm gonna swap to the pistol now that we're going indoors. And let's not, ooh, some iron. We can use that to upgrade our weapons. Let's not forget that anything that's made out of wood can be broken with our melee weapon as well. Hey, we got a crit on that chair. Nice. I wonder how much our stealth ability is actually gonna come into play here. There's one more guy around the corner, I know that. I'm trying to stay back. Try not to push up too far. If we get surrounded, I imagine that's not gonna go that great for us, but so far, no problems. Cleared out the bottom floor of this building. Not too much else in there to be worried about. I did hear some growling on the street though, so we are definitely not alone here. I also heard some liquid sounding. Uh, he has some fucking goop in him, dude. Ew. There's a chest here that has some bandages, a bunch of iron and some scrap in it. Now you don't, again, you don't have to be as thorough as me. I'm just trying to make sure I get as many of our upgrade materials as possible. This game does 
incentivize you to explore, but it doesn't require you to explore. I think we're getting closer. Oh, yeah. Swap back to my rifle. Didn't mean to. Although, I mean, if our accuracy is good in close range, it's not a bad weapon. That's for sure. Oh, this doesn't look very sturdy here at all. Okay. Don't you throw that axe at me. Now, as we take down these enemies, we're obviously using up our ammunition. They can and hopefully will soon <laughs> be dropping some ammo down on the ground. Uh, eesh, I hope I don't run out. Yeah, I've never seen the start of my game looking like this. I have played a little bit of co-op with my friends. Like I said, this is three player drop in, drop out co-op. It's pretty damn fun. And your character enters the world of your friends if you try to join them. So like I started out a game and Mucka joined me. Tifa started out a game and Mucka and I joined Tifa. And we've been questing through Mucka's world as well. And I like the fact that the world is constantly changing because, or not constantly changing, but changing for each person because it keeps the experience fresh for everyone. This is quite the obstacle to get around. I hear some, s is that singing? Huh. Okay. Looks like the way around this path is through this building. More materials in here for us to get. Although this looks blocked off. Fifth Avenue. Hey, bud. I don't think crouching increases our accuracy or anything, but it might increase our stealth capabilities. Wait, he didn't see me, right? What is the smoke on the... That's an item. Are we chilling? Why do they only move after I put my crosshair on them? Uh-oh. You see his weapon. Is that his head? Fuck. 246 damage. Did not alert that guy. Oh, who's that? Uh-oh, that guy's teleporting around. We'll try to hold our ground here. Hey, that's not fair. Oh, it's not fair. Oh, it's a guy with a bow. Wow, we hit him really hard in the head. Oh, we hit him really hard in the head. What is our set bonus? 25% increased range damage. Good Lord. Uh, that red light that you saw me pick up was our long gun ammo. That would also apply to shotguns as well. It's basically ammo for that particular slot of weapon. And then the white ammo that was on the ground was for our pistol. That guy got fucked. Oh, there's another one. This gun is this gun. Uh, we can use our hunter's mark here to see enemies through walls like this guy so we can track them a little bit easier. And that's also going to increase our crit chance as well. Look at that, boys. Fucking annihilating them. Feels good. Feels good. If we take a look at the map, the skull, which is to the south, which is this way, um, is the main way that we should be trying to get. But obviously there's some obstacles in the way blocking us off from getting to that. So we're gonna have to explore around a little bit to actually find the path that we need to take. Oh, that's a big man. And I think I hear someone off to my right as well. Oh, he's bad. Okay, this guy has a gigantic melee weapon and it appears like his face is protected. Can I knock him down if I shoot him in the legs? That staggered him at least. That'll give us a little bit more time here. Yeah, shooting him in the head is not working. Whoa. Good dodge, good dodge, good dodge. I'm a little worried about the abs too, but let's focus on this. Oh, fuck, shit. I'm gonna try to use these cars as a bit of a, that didn't work. Come, please stop. Whoa. Oh no, we're almost out of ammo with our pistol. Good touch. Okay, I'm gonna swap weapons. I'm gonna swap weapons. Ooh. 
Okay. So I guess that answered that one. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was rough, but it was a little intimidating. So we got a trait while we were doing that. And that trait can, we can choose to spend that trait. This is basically our talent build. We can put this anywhere we would like. Would we like more health? Would we like to limit the enemy's awareness? Well, right now, I, w I wouldn't mind having more health. More health seems good. Having more stamina and being able to move around seems pretty good too. You know what? Let's put our point into that. We started the game at trait rank 10. We're 11 now. We basically just leveled up. At, excuse me. As we continue to kill off enemies and explore the world, we'll continue to get more and more and more trait points. And what's cool about that is I don't actually think that there's a cap on that. So if you're the kind of player who fucking falls in love with this video game, you can continue to scale into infinity. And in your own world, you're gonna be, oh, there's an item. In your own world, you're gonna be supremely powerful. But if you decide to uh, do some co-op with your friends, you'll be scaled down to match their level, I think. I'm not 100% on this part, but I think you'll be scaled down to be within a level range of them. So you're not just completely overpowered and carrying them. It's a really cool system. I like it a lot. Uh, we just picked up a ring. We got the Heart Seeker. Provides a 100% critical chance against non-aggressive enemies and increased crit damage by 15%. So if we shoot at an enemy who doesn't know we're here, we have a guaranteed crit. Damn. That's really good up until the point that it's not. See, that kind of item wouldn't be very good against the boss because the boss would be aggroed against you. But for going to, through trash and doing things like this, that could be extremely good. Now, taking a look at the map, I think I've been everywhere now. We have a path off to the right. Presumably this path would loop back around to this checkpoint. Now, this is all blocked off over here, and that's why we're not going that way. But presumably, this would loop around there. This area is a dungeon that doesn't go to the main storyline. This is totally optional, and again, procedurally generated, so I don't really know what I'm walking into here. But we could sit down at this checkpoint and get our ammo back and heal up before we venture forward. Don't take it. It sees. Well, that's ominous. Um, how big do we... Ooh, this place could be pretty big. Hey, little guy. Well, they go down with one hunting rifle shot. I don't mind that one bit. Dude, it seems like the hunter is so strong at the beginning of the game. The hidden sanctum. Oh yeah, I can hear him moving around. Hey, buds. I don't even think we need the crit chance to secure kills here. Oh God, okay. So think of these things as banelings. You can dodge roll out of them to stop them from blowing up on you. They leave behind like a rot poison. We do have a tonic for that in our inventory here, the oil skin tonic. Uh, but if we stand around in that effect, it can boil up to the point that we become infected. So we want to keep these... Wait, who's back there? Oh, it doesn't seem good. Does that blow up? What is this? That screeching noise lets us know. Oh, it's another archer. That screeching noise. It does blow up. I fucking knew it. The screeching noise lets us know that a more difficult enemy has just been spawned in. We do so much damage though. Dude, this class is so strong at the beginning of the game. I think it's the set bonus. 25% damage to ranged weapons? Good God. The Scrapper, the melee one that I picked up, does 25% more damage to enemies that are close to, or I don't, it might be more than 25, but you deal more damage to enemies that are closer to you. So, like, in order for the effect to be worth it, 
you kind of are incentivized to use that shotgun to use your melee options to move in there. But of course, that's putting you in a significantly higher chance of being in harm's way. So it looks like there's something on the map here. What the fuck is this? Where are these enemies? Oh, they're flanking me. Anyone else? What? Destroy the root nexus, the horror in the sewer. He doesn't seem to like that much. It's spawning ads behind me. Oh, we gotta use that belly. We don't wanna get overrun here. Oh, fuck. Anyone else behind me? I think we're good for the time being. Oh, it's an archer! Can he hit me from here? Oh, he sure fucking can. That one attack from the archer dealt a lot of health damage. I'm gonna use our mod here so I can see through this fog a little bit easier. He teleported to the wrong place. And we got some more longbow ammo. Okay, I'm gonna have to focus this thing down. Reloading, backing up, backing up, backing up. I'm gonna try to, ah, oh, they're spawning everywhere. I don't want to use my dragon heart. I feel like that would be overkill. I don't think I'm in super danger here. I'm going to use just our health regen. What is this thing's health at? Oh, it's almost dead. It's down, it's down, it's down. And that caused the ads to despawn as well. Ooh, that was rough. What the heck was this? What do I get for doing this? It's just a dead end room with this weird ass thing in it. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see what the rest of these sewers have in store. Man, that was kind of scary. I went a little bit further down the path. I mean, I really haven't gone that far at all. And there's this thing in the way. Uh oh. Melly it is! Oh, I broke it. Okay. Shroud! Okay, okay, let's use cover. So we s spotted a mini boss? Let's break line of sight. He has a lot more health than anything we fought so far. Hey, bud. He's making a lot of noise. Oh, that! He fired up! He fired up a thing behind line of sight! He's cheating! Oh, fuck! Hello, big man! Ouch! Oh, that was a lot of damage. Is this one of the minigun dudes? It is. Let's see if I can actually hit him behind cover here. Easier said than done, it seems. Health is getting low. We do have one... Oh, I'm gonna keep backing up. We do have one more region thing we can call back to if we really need it. I'm just gonna keep kiting backwards. Ooh. Got a lot of pot shots there on him as he was going over that little ledge. Looks like he had to put his gun down. That was rough. Might be able to use that to our advantage. All right, first heal. Only three shots left with the hunting rifle, so I'm gonna switch over to the pistol for the time being. I hear more things around the corner. Oh, Banelings. I don't know what they're actually called, by the way. They're just very reminiscent. So our pistol is two shots per enemy to take them down. Not too bad. Is it one melee? Yeah, one melee. So if they do get close, it's really not the end of the world. Okay. Lots of iron in here. Good for our upgrades. We did get a talent point. Uh, I'm gonna do endurance again. I mean, hopefully things don't get close enough to deal too much damage to us. It's kind of my idea at the moment. 
I'm, I mean, in a lot of ways, I really am approaching this with the Dark Souls mentality, right? Oftentimes, maneuverability and avoiding damage is a lot more is a lot more important than your ability to actually mitigate that damage with health. So, by keeping our stamina high, hopefully, I'll be able to outrun these guys. Shoot and scoot a little bit. This blue icon, this blue thing on the ground here, I guess it's not an icon, but aura is simply another talent point. So think of that as a free level that we can find on the ground. Uh-oh. There was a chest over here in the corner. Let's go ahead and grab that. Got some oil skins too, just in case we do get infected with that rot. Now we have more ways to combat it. If we take a look at the map, it looks like we're winding to the north here. You know, Trout ran away before I was able to kill him. So I have a sneaking suspicion that he's gonna be waiting for us up ahead somewhere. Hey, little guy, come around the corner. Can I shoot his feet? Can I? Oh my God, I can shoot his little feet. Oh. It looks like that idol that we destroyed earlier has reappeared here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gotta reload. Oh, melee, melee, melee. Oh, the pistol damage really falls off at long range. Oh, it sounds like there's something very big around that corner. We did get some more hunting rifle ammunition. And stay down. I wonder if it's just those little, those little small dudes. Ah! It's the minigun guy again. Come around this corner, big guy. Come around this corner. Oh, I think I can shift my perspective with, with shift. Hey. I see what they did there. Hitting the gun counts. Gotta reload. One more. One more. There we go. Not too shabby. This was fun. I like playing super far back. My other character is very melee focused. This is a whole different game. I like this. So, Mr. Stroud, do you come out again if I... Yes, he does. Back at full health. He disappeared and he spawned in more ads. Those ads were not there before. Wait, is he gone again? He's gone again. Okay. Oh, geez, another one? Uh. Here. Let's pop our damage bonus here. Yeah. We'll use this to spot him right away and increase our crit chance. He's behind us. He's teleported. Oh, I thought he was gonna shoot there, Eden. Okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Uh, I'm gonna, we just got a health potion from that crate that we opened. So I'm gonna use it and uh, try to cap off my HP a little bit. Hopefully we get another potion in there. Just scrap an iron in that one. Dude, checking quarters and stuff. I really like this game. It feels totally different than playing as my melee character too. It's really cool. Any scrap here? 19. I think chairs give scrap too. Uh, did these? Oh, that looks like it might blow up. Maybe I don't want to hit that. This door likely means the Trout is our boss for this area. And then we're actually going to encounter him here. A thermal geode. We get a checkpoint, so we are gonna get all of our ammunition back. 
Now, I decided to use my mod on Shroud back there, so uh, I don't have it charged for this fight. Consumables, consumables can be used to replenish ammo and all that shit. Okay. Okay, great. Do I actually have any ammo pouches? Because that would be great. I don't. What's a liquid essence? When consumed, the heroes return to the last activated check. It's a Homer bone! Hey! I didn't know about that. This is the exact same room as what was on the other side of the door. Like I said, you'll notice these tile sets kind of strewn about here and there. Uh, both guns are reloaded. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Okay. That's not Shroud. Oh, he sees me. He was on the left side. He just teleported again. He technically has line of sight, although it wasn't a great angle. So he's going to back up. I'm going to melee these guys down. Oh, I'm taking so much. Oh, fuck. That was the shriek that he did before. Shit. All right, we're going to try again. We're going to try again. Jeez, dude. Okay. Did our mod actually charge up at all? No, it didn't. We just rest, so we're gonna be back to full HP. It looks like I might have to actually use our stamina and kite those ads around while taking pot shots on Shroud. Let's try to get a feel for the layout here. Oh, well, fuck. Upside, here we go. So there's two floors. I'm assuming the ads won't stop. Now, one of the good things about doing boss attempts is getting XP mid-boss attempts, so... Oh, there he is! Oh, these guys throw axes, too. Okay, I'm gonna pop one of the heal over times. Oh, yeah, that's the sound again! So when he does that, he does a big-ass AoE. And I just need to move. We need to listen for that. We need to listen for that. Fuck, I'm getting nervous. My aim's getting way worse. This is it, this is it. So just keep moving. We're cracking the code, boys. Ouch. He made my character bleed. We have bandages for that. I'm also gonna use one of my dragon hearts. That's him there. Big crit, big crit, big crit. It helps. Oh, we gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta move. It helps when he doesn't move his head very much. Wait, did the effect not happen? He's also regenerating health right now. Oh, there he is. Where's his head? Ah! My shots aren't dealing any damage! I'm gonna try to get, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Gonna use dragon heart. Ah! I'm choking, I'm choking! Where is he? Gotta reload. Oh, fuck, dude. We're out of sniper bullets. Move, 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 move. Oh, my God. Crashed through the window. Yes. That was fucking epic. He hit us again. I'm going to repair that bleed damage. I'm also going to switch back to our sniper rifle so I can see him through the walls. That'll be helpful. Where is he? That's the AOE. Let's move. Let's move. Good damage, good damage. He's forced to retreat. We have a few shots here. Uh-oh, that was a lot of ads. There he is! One more! Ah! And Shroud is down, boys! Now that item we got from killing him was the Shade Wood. And we only get that item if we encounter Shroud in our world. And I think that's really cool because that means you can play through the game and have another friend that you're not playing co-op with that plays through the game. And both of you could come out at the end with a different experience. You come out with different items. Now, if you have a very specific build in mind and you're trying to farm very specific materials, there's an option to actually reset your worlds to have an opportunity to find Trout if that's who you were looking for. Or don't do that <laughs> you don't have to it's not required i just think that's a really really cool thing and i like that idea a lot so boss has been defeated 
and we can now exit the dungeon. I feel pretty good about that boss kill. Where did this dump us out at? Oh! Oh, this? This is what led us to the checkpoint. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the other one to lead us to the checkpoint. So up here should be a place for us to rest. But then I think I can open the door. Oh yeah, there's that music. It's a helicopter. Uh, Yeah, I should be able to rest here. Oh, it scared me. So this is our checkpoint now. This is our bonfire. And now, upgrading weapons and armor, they want to make sure that we do that. Look at that gun. Now. It's a guy talking about stew. Now we should be able to open up this. And if we wanted to check out whatever this other thing was, we have a much easier way of accessing that part of the game. We walked right by this. This was the Fifth Avenue sign next to the bus. You guys remember the Fifth Avenue sign right next to the bus, right? Of course you do. So maybe we'll try to do that. Maybe we'll talk to this guy. Whatever we do, it's gonna be next episode. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. And I will see you again next time. My face just completely phased out there. I was gonna look into the camera real dramatic like it didn't happen. Goodbye.